Welcome to Get Python Code. Today I will discuss week 6 quiz answer for joy of computing using Python. So coming to the question number 1, it is asking what is the output of this function. So I just copied this function here and you can see the output of the function is it will just print the sum of number from 1 to n as you can see here. So mark option A as an answer for question number 1. Going to the question number 2. So the assertion is if a recursive function does not have a base condition case, it may stop and the reason is given as recursion means the that a function calls itself. First thing that recursion will never stop just because it is a recursion. This is half true because not all recursive functions are made to run indefinitely. And the main reason behind failing the recursion is that it will never meet that base condition for failing itself. So mark option B as an answer for question number 2. Going to the question number 3, what is the output of this code? So I just copied this code and you can see output is 26. So mark 26 as an answer for question number 3. And before going to question number 4, just I want to make something clear. All answers shown here are correct according to me. But then also if there is any change in answer, I will inform you in my telegram channel or in this youtube channel community tab or in this video description as i did earlier so please make sure to check the final answer before the last submission date now in question number four first let me uh, make you understand what is caesar cipher so it is just a type of substitution method in a sentence for example you have been given a sentence and uh, you just replace the each letter in a sentence like this for example, uh, here you can see A is replaced with T, B is replaced with E, and C is replaced with F. And after doing the replacement, you will just form a new sentence from the given sentence. So according to the, this question number 4, earlier uh, the letter Z has the least frequency as you can see from the question. So this Z is replaced with R as it is in the question. So which letter will has the least frequency, Z, E or R? So first thing is that since Z is replaced with R, so R will have the least frequency and the reason is that since we are replacing the letter, so replacing letter means replacing the frequency. Suppose Z has the frequency of 9 uh, and it is replaced with R, so R will also have the frequency of 9 since it is just uh, we are just replacing it. So mark R as an answer for question number 4. Coming to question number 5, if you have a large cipher text produced by a simple substitution cipher on an English test, test, so can you determine the original message by examining how much each letter appears? So yes, it, it can be done, we just have to decrypt the uh, sentence and it is possible here, you can see from the Geeks of this article. Going to question number 6. Suppose you suspect that a piece of cipher text was produced using a simple substitution cipher under which circumstances might frequency analysis fail to yield correct result. So the answer is these two uh, options are the answer as you can see from the screenshot taken from previous year weekly quiz. It will not work if cipher text is too small means it is short and it will not work if the cipher text was previously encrypted using different cipher. So you can see this is this option is also matching both questions and answers are similar and pointing to the same thing. So mark option A and B as an answer for question number 6. Now going to the question number 7, you have a dictionary like dictionary name and it is a non-empty dictionary like this, it has some values. What does the dictionary name dot values will return? So I have just taken this dictionary and just I just tried to print this dictionary name dot values. You can see it is just trying to print the values. So mark option C, return a list of all values in the dictionary. Going to question number 8, the assertion is given as a Caesar cipher is a type of substitution cipher and the reason is given as in a Caesar cipher which letter in the plain text is replaced, each letter in a plain text is replaced by a letter at a fixed shift in the alphabet. So this is absolutely correct as you can see this article taken from the Wikipedia. It is a type of substitution in which each letter in a plain text is replaced by a letter in some fixed number of position. And also you can match the same from this Geeks of Geeks screenshot. So mark option A as an answer for question number 8. Going to question number 9. Which outcome generally follows from providing proper, from providing a proper base case in a recursive function? 
so for question number 9 you can see here proper base case condition is the condition given a recursive function which is designed in such a way that it will force the function to call itself and return a value so first thing that this option will be not the uh, option 3 is not true because depth has nothing to uh, depth is not related to the proper base case condition as you can see here suppose uh, i just take ns3 this is recursive function for calculating the factorial if you take ns3 then it will just uh, so three calls means the depth is 3 and if you just replace this 3 with 9 then it will just so nine calls so you can see this depth has not nothing to do with the base case condition and option number d it allows the function to keep calling indefinitely so it is not true because that is not a proper base case if the function is calling indefinitely going to question number 10 in a standard tic tac toe board how many distinct winning lines can pass through the center square so let me just show you one pdf which will make things very clear so you must have played this game tic tac toe and you can see how many lines we have to get from center so you can see we can get this center line if like this horizontal winning line and we can also get this vertical winning line you can see both the lines are passing from center and we have this third winning line this is also passing from center and this is fourth winning line this is also passing from center so in total you can see we have 1 2 3 3 and 4 winning lines so we can have four winning lines so mark option d as answer for question number 10 i hope you like this video please like comment and subscribe thanks for watching